Right out guys, welcome back to the Bam Bam Fabrication YouTube channel. On this episode of the International Truck Build, we're going to get the engine fitted out with its accessories. We're going to go ahead and get the brake booster and mass cylinder fitted. We're going to make and run the brake lines, get the steering column mounted and working, and a few other odds and ends tidied up. So yeah, let's get into it. Right out guys, just before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you for everyone who's been liking commenting and subscribing it's really awesome to see so yeah if you can keep it up that'd be awesome it's really good to see right out let's get into the video right yeah as we can see got some goodies here just went in town and got new dizzy swivel thermostat housing accelerator bracket which uh, i'll have to make either modify or make some little um, brackets to step it away the sniper is a bit fatter than the 4150s uh, i've got a top radiator hose air cleaner thermostat spark plugs leads and air cleaner hold down bolt so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start stabbing some of the stuff on that end All right, guys, welcome back. It's uh, Monday morning. Yeah, we had the weekend off. Went for a um, cruise with the car club on Sunday. So, yeah, that was nice. Uh, went up to Balgale Beach. So, yeah, um, this morning what we're going to get into, um, yes, the yeah, I just sat the um, the booster and the pedal box in. It's not tight, so I've got to lock them down. What I'm going to do is make the stabilizer bracket for the pedal box. Um, so, yeah, that's probably my first job. And then I'm going to look at, yeah, getting the steering column in and mounted and uh making the ceiling plate for fall so yeah let's get into it all right guys so i've got that paddle box tightened up um yeah, as you can see what i gotta do is make a little bracket to go from the top of the paddle box to where the um inter paddle box used to bolt up so it's going to be a little straightforward bracket that'll um stabilize that stop that um paddle box moving around so yeah just gonna make that bracket up and get it bolted up all right guys, so I've got uh, that left side bracket there uh, tacked up, I've got to pull it off and weld it up and I went ahead and made the right side bracket there as well. Um, yeah, it's made it really rigid, so yeah, gonna go ahead and pull them out and weld them up. Right yeah, so I've got the holding column set up there where I want it to um, sit. I've adjusted the length of that D-shaft there uh, and may need a little bit trim further on, see how we go. Uh, yeah, really happy with how that's looking. You yeah, obviously trim the the holding uh, firewall plate off there because it wasn't going to work. Um, got the redrilled, I've redrilled the holes for the column to bolt to the dash. Um, there's no support behind the dash, so what I'm going to end up doing is making some stabilizer brackets to go from the dash back to the stabilizer brackets I made for the pedal box on both sides, and I'll make them in a nice thick steel, and that should be enough to support that steering column and then yeah i'm gonna actually use the factory dodge firewall or international firewall cover plate um, i'm going to split it in half probably so it goes over the column and then i'm going to make a rubber boot to um yeah encapsulate that to seal the firewall off so um yeah gonna get those brackets made and that steering column right there guys this is where we got up to yesi um Got the steering column mounted, got the shaft, cut the suit. Um, yeah, got those stabilizer brackets made. Can't really see them in there. Um, but yeah, steering column all good now. I just got to make the floor mount. Uh, that's my next move. So yeah, gonna get into that. Managed to get a um, a little quick fire out of the engine there. Yes, see, I just roughly run the wiring. 
Um, the snob is not hooked up. We just yeah, hook the ignition up um, <coughs> and spray a little um, brake cleaner down the carb just a bit of just to see yeah, see if she fire up. So I'll just show you what's going on. Um, like I said, the wiring isn't final, but yeah, just thought I'd um, have a little play and yeah. There you go. All right, now play time's over. I'll uh, yeah, get that um, firewall man done. That'll. All right, yeah, so this is the factory, um, yeah, firewall seal off plate from the inner. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm gonna pull the column back out, sit that over the hole there, and um, actually, yeah, fill that in with sheet metal and uh, weld it to the column, so yeah, mounts it and seals it. So yeah, that's my next job, we'll get into it. Right, yeah, so I've got that plate um, drilled out and mounted to the firewall just with tech screws at the moment. Then I've gone ahead and um, yeah, cut out some cardboard, made a little template, split it in half to um, yeah, make a um, plate to yeah, mount the steering column, seal it off on the firewall. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this out and yeah, make that plate and bolt the column back in. Alright yeah, so I've got that um, plate made up and um, yeah, got the steering column back in. Uh, pretty happy with it. So yeah, gonna go ahead and um, tack weld it in, pull the column back out and then um, yeah, fully weld it. So yeah, gonna get to tagging. Right, yeah, so I went ahead and um, yeah, button up that column there. Uh, it's drawing. So uh, in the interim, I um, yeah, sounded in the center of the rear of the cab as well. Uh, done that, and then I went ahead, thought I'd start running some of the sniper wiring. Um, got to a point where it should actually fire off the sniper. Um, so I'm actually yeah, just putting a bit of petrol in it, put 20 liters of petrol in it. Gonna go ahead and see if. Um, I haven't even turned the key on to see if it's a dash lock was yet, but see if I can, um, yeah, <clears throat> plug um, plug enough numbers in and get this thing to, yeah, just fire off the, um, off the sniper. So, uh, let's have a look at the we got the battery terminals on. Yeah, batteries, batteries terminals are on. Something's happening. There you go. Oop. I think we go to Wizards. Uh, what's the number of this? Five eleven. Five fifty five eleven. Yep, that's it. Next. I don't know if he's seen that roll. Uh, eight cylinders. Next. Negative start. Yeah, fuel pumps cooking on. Right, key off. Let's have a look. Let's make sure we haven't got any fuel leaks. The first time I cycled that. 
fuel pump. Oh yeah, everything looks legit. Uh, probably can't run it for very long. <clears throat> Haven't got um, tail shaft in it or um, anything covering the speedo drive hole, so it's probably gonna push oil out. Um, but I reckon we could probably get a fire out of it. Let's see what we got. Key back on. Fuel pump. There we go. See if she fires. There we go. Fire straight up. Let's have a look. I'm pushing in the oil out the transmission. Not yet. That's very cool. Well, that was all live. No scripted stuff there. Eh? Uh, like I say, it's not finished wiring or nothing. It's just a uh, sort of rough running it to work out how it's going to run. Um, a lot of it's going to live under that center console. So yeah. I just thought I'd share that with you guys, it's pretty cool. Alright, gonna shut it off for the day, eh? Catch you tomorrow. Rightio guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, yeah, we just fired it up, it was awesome to see on the sniper. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please do us a favor, hit the like, drop a comment down below, let us know what you think of the build and, and how the videos are going, any tips. I listen to them all, try and implement them all, so yeah. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.